Hi, welcome to Irvine Pets and Company. I'm your host, Kathy Graves. We're here at the Irvine Animal Care Center and we'll be seeing just a few of the wonderful animals we have available for adoption. To start with, Deborah's here with Tinkerbell. She's so cute. Yes, she's about 10 months old and she's our tiniest dog right now, presently at the shelter, ready, ready for her home, just all ready just like all of our animals here. So please stay with us for the next 30 minutes and we'll be visiting many of Tinkerbell's friends here at the Irvine Animal Care Center. Our first dog is Elizabeth, and Mary Lou, what do we know about Elizabeth except the fact that she's awfully cute? Well, she is awfully cute, and she's only about 18 months old. She's a puppy. She's just barely a puppy, and she walks very well on a leash, so I think it tells us that she's pretty trainable. Good. She uh, came in on our third chance program. Oh, that's wonderful. That's the program where we bring in uh, animals from other shelters that don't have the time or have the space or the uh, budget to keep animals very long. So Aww. she came in on that and she's very affectionate. She's very sweet, got the little, she got some wonderful <laughs> Wonderful puppy characteristics. Come on, get up. Come on. Come on, turn around. Is she a little spaniel? She's a little spaniel mix. Uh -huh. She's got wonderful little tufts, little spaniel tufts on her ears. Uh, really a sweet, sweet dog. She really is just as cute as she can be. Loves wow. affection. She is adorable. So if you're looking for a really cute little terrier, this is Elizabeth. Yes. This is Carl. Carl. Carl's nine months old. Mm -hmm. He's still pretty much a puppy. As you can see, he likes to chew on things. Yes, he does. Loves his, lots of toys. Lots required. of toys. And he plays quite a bit. He has a play buddy in our group. Oh, that's and he, good. he likes to play and chase, and he's just a barrel of fun. But he's, a, he's very active, so he would be good for an active family. And he needs a little bit of training because he's still a puppy. But he does really well. He knows how to sit for a treat. And uh, I just love him. I think he's just adorable. He's adorable. Maybe someone that's had experience training a dog before would be a good owner for Carl. Or somebody that hasn't that's willing to go to uh, classes with Carl so that Carl and the new owner could also be trained together. Yes, exactly. Well, that would be perfect. Yeah, he's just an adorable little guy, and if you're an active family, or maybe you have a, and you have a dog that maybe Carl would like to have as a playmate, he would just be perfect. He's a really cute little dog. This is Carl. Bob, this is a dog. This is a real dog, and he's so adorable. Kathy, everybody knows a dog that looks like somebody up the street. <laughs> <laughs> Ziggy, this is Ziggy, and Ziggy looks like a real person. He um, does. Ziggy is a wonderful dog. Ziggy is kind. Ziggy is sweet. Ziggy takes slow, wonderful walks. He's just like a person. Um, <laughs> he's an American bulldog, and he he just is one of those people that are dogs, I guess. <laughs> See, I'm already calling him a person. That when he walks down the street. He is sure to stop everyone oh, and yes. say, what kind of dog is this? Isn't he cute? Isn't he wonderful? Uh, and Ziggy loves to be pet. Ziggy loves to be played with. He's ideal. Um, he won't be here long. He's that wonderful. Oh, he's a wonderful looking dog. He's a big guy, but he looks to be a very gentle guy too. Very gentle. Here, look at this. Um, very kind hearted, very sweet. Um, and he's, he's probably somewhere in middle age. He's about five years old, so uh -huh. he's very used to being with people. And he's just a treasure to have with you. Look at this. Well, anybody would be very lucky to have Ziggy. 
So please come over and see him if you're looking for a big, gentle, giant. Ziggy is certainly your guy. Well, Cindy, you have another adorable little dog here, and I understand she has some special aspects to her. She does. She's a six and a half year old Maltese mix, uh -huh. and she came in here as a stray. Oh. We did discover that she's deaf. Oh, how and, scary, um, there's a stray. Yes, and, well, and we've, we've got her all groomed and cleaned up so she looks great, but she um, uh, she also has two color eyes, which is very it's distinctive. One brown eye, one blue eye. Oh my goodness! And, but she just uh, I just met her this morning, and she's quiet, and she's she walks well, uh, doesn't need a lot of direction. She's uh, she's really calm. The six and a half year old, you know, it makes her a very sweet dog to have around. Easy, easy dog to 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 be with. And what's her name? This is Lainey. Okay. Well, she's an adorable little girl. So. Uh, I, obviously, with training, maybe hand signals. You know, it, it, I don't. I don't even think that she needs a lot because she walks really well. Okay. She. Um, I'm not sure what. I mean, she, she'll sit. She, she's so uh, pliable, flexible. I mean, she just like just hangs with you. She'll lay next to you. So I don't. I don't think it would be a huge problem or need or that she not need a lot of training. She's not jumping up on people. She's not. Doing any, 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 she has no bad behavior, so I think it should be easy to, to take well, her in. That's wonderful. So, if you're looking for a quiet little dog that's just a real beauty, this is certainly her. Here, I understand this is our Wampus dog resident. Yes, it, so he is, I call him my little Buddha. Your little Buddha. <laughs> he's got those, uh, that very serene expression, and he's oh. so unruffled. He is our longest resident, been here since January, and um, he's a senior dog, a little over eight years old. Uh, that means that a senior person can adopt him uh, at no cost. And he would be a wonderful companion for an older person. And this is Chico, right? This is Chico, yes. Yes. Very calm. Uh, yes. Well, he's pretty unruffled. Uh -huh. He doesn't bark. <laughs> like <that>. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And he's got lots of energy. He loves to go out for walks, and uh, he's just a very calm, cool dog. Make a wonderful companion for uh, anyone, but especially an older person who just wants a dog to hang out with them. Oh, that would be great. So, if you're on a walking program, like get out for some walks every day, Chica would be more than willing to go with you and would absolutely love it. So if you're looking for a sweet little dog, this is Chico. Well, Bob, you're here with another big dog, and this is Trinket, and she is big and oh. strong. Is Trinket strong? One out of 12, one out of 12, incident in progress. Yes, exactly. <laughs> this is a shepherd, not a German shepherd, but an Anatolian shepherd, and oh. a very wonderful dog. Uh -huh. But just like all shepherds, she's loyal, she's kind-hearted, she wants to play, yes. she wants to learn, and obviously she'll need a little bit of training, but is she gorgeous? She's just beautiful. And if they're like German Shepherds, they're very smart and need to be given jobs, I understand. Very smart, uh, understands everything, knows what's going on, is attentive to everything, and just a beautiful, kind, loyal dog. Right, Trinket? Well, almost Trinket soon. And she'll definitely need training. So again, an experienced owner would probably be best with her because she is a strong girl. And somebody strong and somebody who loves playful dogs. Absolutely. Well, they'll be getting a real gem here. So if you're looking for a great dog, this is Trinket. Hey, all of you out there wanting to get your mojo back, this is the dog for you. And it's true, this is Mojo, and he's a four-year-old um, uh, male chihuahua, and he was found as a stray. Oh my goodness, um, so he's small. Been, yes, I know, I, I hate hearing about chihuahuas being found as strays, how they got there, got here safely, I'm not sure, but right. um, uh, the, the cool thing about Mojo is his personality, so sweet, um, he uh, loves all people, but he also seems to like all of our dogs. When Whenever we're setting up play buddies with other dogs, it seems to be him that gets along with the other dogs. All so right, he's, a a, real, he's Mr. Switzerland. He gets he along with everybody. <laughs> he does, he does. He's he's very sweet, he's he's not a barker, he, he walks real well, he's still young enough to be playful. Mm -hmm. So um, he does need some training, he doesn't sit for a treat or, or anything, but um, I'm sure that um, someone could teach him a few tricks. Oh, right, and if you're out there and you're looking for a little companion for your dog, 
Mojo would be great because he seems to fit in with just about any dog and would love it. So if you're looking for a great little guy, this is Mojo. For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Center or call our office. She's just as happy as can be. She's my sweet little angel. She's my D.O.G. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello, that's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. sweet but very shy girls isn't she yes this is daniela oh i love the name so pretty for a pretty cat absolutely daniela like you said is very shy uh -huh. um but she's extremely sweet she just needs a little time to get to know you okay well i don't think she's been here very long and it's very upsetting sometimes especially for cats because they are so uh, into their places that when you change the place on them it's yeah it can be upsetting. a little bit surprising yeah but uh, once Daniela gets to know you she just melts oh she's really sweet probably when she gets into her home maybe a quieter home would be good for her I think so yeah maybe not so many dogs and birds and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly things going on but yeah she if you're looking for a really sweet cat and once you get her home she'll blossom there absolutely I'm sure but she's one of those that please take a chance take her into one of her get acquainted rooms here absolutely and spend some time with her and I think you'll just fall in love with this little girl and this is Daniela yes well, Lori's back. You've been out for a few episodes. Yes. So glad to have you back. And you bought a really pretty, I guess I should say, handsome boy. Yes, he's handsome. This he is, is McKenna. Uh -huh. He's a third chance cat. Okay. About three years old. And he's listed as a Turkish fan mix, mm -hmm. which is typically this fur, lovely fur. They're very pleasant cats to be around. He's right now awfully shy. But I think he'll get, he loves to be scratched, but he's, this is a lot of excitement for him right now. Well, he was in a home somewhere, then he was in another shelter, and now he's been brought here, so it's kind of overwhelming for him. But Turkish fans are very smart cats, and I don't know if he has enough Turkish fan in him, but he's one of the few cat breeds that likes water. Uh, they will go swimming if you have a swimming pool. Again, I don't know if he has enough of that Turkish fan in him. I wouldn't put him in the pool right away. But he's such a sweet, sweet boy. Again, probably a quieter home to start with for him. Yes. And but he'll come out and play like in the in his cage. He's uh -huh. just this is a little much space. You'll notice he's relaxing as we speak. Yeah. Yes. So, if you're looking for a, a gorgeous cat, a beautiful little guy, this is McKenna. Well, this is the king of the jungle here. We have Simba. Simba has come back to reclaim his kingdom. Yeah, he's a. Um, He's got a lot of energy. Yes, he does. He's, he's a big guy, and he, uh, again, like a kitten, has lots of places to go and things to do. And people to see, people and things to, see. to scratch and That's play right. with. <laughs> well, Simba's a real explorer, too. So once he gets into your home, he's going to check out every nook and cranny and every crevice that he can get into. He's really fun. I like fun kitties who want to play and adventure around. We have lots of those. Um, I think once he gets in settled into a home, like all cats, it just takes him a while to get settled in. Absolutely. That he'll come in and, and at some point probably be your lap cat. But right now, he's got to go and do. And bring me some toys and I'll be your lover. That's right. He <laughs> I needs, that's and I understand it. he loves food. Well, don't we all? So, don't we okay. all? Yeah. <laughs> so that would be a great incentive for him to come to you. But uh, Simba's a big, beautiful boy. He's, what, about five years old, I yeah. think? Yeah. About five. Uh, so he's fully grown, as they say. But he's just ready to go home. So you're looking for big, handsome, active, it's Simba. Now we have a handsome guy here. A handsome Irish lad. The Irish lad, okay. This is Kilkenny. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Kilkenny is a very playful and very affectionate cat. Mm -hmm. 
He's a little nervous right now. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's on TV. It's for the first time. It yeah, can be, it can yeah. Be intimidating. It's nervous mm -hmm. for people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially can, four legged people. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see, he's uh, jumping all over the place here on me. <laughs> yes. Now he's in our kitty club house. Yes, where uh, we have a bunch of cats all socializing together. Uh -huh. So he'd be good with other cats. That's good to know. Uh, yes, it's the room where they go in and, and they stay there until they're adopted. So if somebody has a cat, Absolutely. we know that Kilkenny's used to living with other cats after that uh, acclimation and getting to know each other, period. Yep, exactly. So cats do need that. You mm -hmm. Don't just throw them together. Mm -hmm. That could be disastrous. So, But I think Kilkenny would fit in and probably fit into your home and another cat very easily. I think so too, yeah. if you can keep a hold on him. Yeah, <laughs> well he's raring to go. <laughs> So please come down and see Kill Kitty. Well, now we go from shy and quiet to very active and energetic. Extremely active. He is. This is Sly. Uh -huh. He's also a third chance cat. Okay. He's the kind that comes rushing to the front of the cage and reaches through the bars and tries to get you to play with him. He does. He does. Loves chasing things. I think we don't think he'd do well with dogs. Okay. But that's a guess, but still. But he's a really wonderful cat. Active, active, active. He'll need lots of toys. The interactive toys are great. Uh, we do have them here in the front office for purchase with the cats. I'm sure that he likes uh, all the things with uh, the sticks with strings and, and play things on the end because he is a very lively boy. He's probably not going to be your lap cat. He may in later years become a lap cat, but if you're expecting a lap cat, Sly wouldn't be it. But if you want fun, energy, activity, that's our guy Sly. Oh, and he also very pretty, the gray and white coloring. I'm sorry, you're handsome, yes. So I think officially he's even called blue. Okay. I don't know why that's blue, not gray, but this is a blue and white cat. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, Sly, if I mis <laughs> miscategorized you. But if you're looking to add a lot of spirit to your house, Sly would be your guy. Well, talk about energy. We seem to keep amping it up as we go along with our yes, cats. We do. And this is the height of energy here. Who is this? This is Checkers. Checkers. He, I think it's a he. I apologize. He is. A, it, it is a boy. Okay. Yeah, and he's got all that boy going. Although the girl kittens can do the same thing too. So let's let's oh. not try to characterize or categorize. Yes, he is just adorably sweet and he, purrs constantly. He's got a lot of energy. He's a yeah, kitten. He's a kitten. He's only four months old. And uh, some kittens are a little less energetic, but I think he is energetic to the nth degree. I understand like, when he comes out of his kennel, he yeah, rolls right up one. your shoulder. How yeah. affectionate he yeah. is. He'll be a really affectionate cat, I think. <laughs> but we just need to work out, again, lots of toys. We do have them in our little store, yeah. so you can go home with them. Lots of stuff to get for him to run around yeah, and get. Yeah, well, we need that. To Although he'll probably find things to do with anything in your home, too. <laughs> if you like wiggle worms, if you like activity, if you like energy, boy, checkers the kitten for you. Well, it looks like Sly shrunk. Yes, well, this is his kitten, uh, Atavar, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> this, this is Perdido. Okay. And Perdido is four months old. Mm -hmm. So he's still a kitten. Very eager to be adopted. Also, just like Sly, eager, awake. <laughs> interested in running around, active. I've held, I held still for two seconds. That's enough. No, he has but. things to do, just like all kittens. Places to go, people to see, things to do, toys to play with. There's just so much to be done during the day. Yes, especially with the kitten. And he's got it all done by 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> he does. Well, my grandma always said you've wasted your day if your work isn't done by 10. And so he goes by that. Yes. That's what he Come lives on. by. But it's beginning to, we are really in kitten season, and so we're starting to get a lot more kittens. They're a lot of fun, but remember that they're very active, and they love to chase your to toes at 2 a.m. in the morning, too, so you do have to remember that. Yes. <laughs> so if you're looking for, a, again, another bunch of energy, this is Perdido, because he'll certainly add that to your home. For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Just Center or call our office. A kitten with big green eyes and snow white paws. I know for certain she'll be climbing my curtain, leaving her hairballs on the floor. But I like cats. So I got this new family. And I don't know what it is about this one, but she can't seem to put down that toy all day long. Tap, 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 tap. 
Oh, and she even talks to it. She talks to that more than she talks to him. What's up, bro? Nice shirt. Who's she talking to? Her mom? She talks to her mom a lot. Bobby's here with our first rabbit. He's a big, handsome guy, too. Yes, he is. This is Toki. Toki, okay. And he's an albino lop. Oh, You can right. see the little ears. I love the ears. We call him the rabbits with the ruby eyes. Uh-huh. And we say that they were given ruby eyes so that they can see humans through rose colors. Aww. I he like is, that. He's a real sweet Real sweet boy, very mellow. Uh -huh. Make a great pet. He would be a very laid back bunny. Okay. And um, would require exercise mm -hmm. and care in a pen in the house. He needs right. to be in the house to be safe. And he's just, he would make a great pet. He's a sweet, sweet bunny, as you can see. He is. Well, he's just adorable. I love the lop ears. And uh, we get a lot of the mini lops, but getting the uh, larger lops, I guess this is a, a regular lop. Yes, <laughs> he's got very, very large back paws, which yes, are really, he does. I'd really love good paws. for stomping to let you know what he wants. Okay. Well, if you're looking for a really sweet rabbit, this is Toki. Well, Michelle's here with a real treat. Who is this? <laughs> yes, we do have a sweet treat right here. This is Cannoli, and she's a sweet little girl. We believe she's a full-grown adult bunny. Uh, just gorgeous, great yeah. disposition. And um, you know, last week we were talking about it was really hot. Mm -hmm. So one thing you want to make sure is to keep your bunny cool. You can take um, an ice cube, rub it between your fingers, and then rub their ears, and that'll help keep them real cool. Wow. Because um, it's the vascular system in their ears that help keep bunnies maintain their cool body temperature. That's good to know. And you can also freeze water bottles and put them in the pen with them, and they'll lean up against them. Right, and people do have to realize, as we've said over and over, these are house rabbits. They're not meant to be out in the backyard. They need to be inside in a safe environment and be kept cool because they're very uh, susceptible to the hot weather. Yes, they get heat stroke very yeah. easily. Anything over 85 degrees. Well, she's a beautiful little rabbit. So I just love the natural coloring. She looks like a little cottontail. Yes. Well, she's a real sweetie. So if you're looking for a really sweet lap bunny, this is cannoli. This is a beautiful rabbit. I love the markings and the coloring. She's a little shy. She's a sweetheart. Oh. Her name is Dandelion. Okay. Which, by the way, they love dandelions. Do they? Yes, they do. Okay. And their salad every night, uh -huh. we give them dandelion greens or kale, parsley, uh -huh. any kind of greens. Actually, the myth is that they're supposed to eat carrots. Mm -hmm. Very little carrot has sugar in it. Oh, like all of us, they shouldn't have too much sugar. Exactly. She's a real sweetheart. She's probably over two years. Okay. And that means she's very subtle uh -huh. and would make a great pet. She's Just... past those terrible teenage yes. years that we <laughs> hear about me. with rabbits. Well, she is so pretty, seems to be very quiet. So if you're looking for a gorgeous rabbit, but we don't look just because they're gorgeous. No. We, we look because they're sweet, and she is certainly that. This is Dandelion. For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Center or call our office. Live with a human for a while, and you get to know a few things. Like, I know she's actually not a morning person. I know she does strange tricks for no treats. I know that water makes her howl like crazy. I even know how the floor stays so clean. She's quick. But the one thing I will never for the life of me know is how she gets so tiny and inside that box. Natalie, how do you get so tiny?
this is the last animal we'll have a chance to see for this show. Who is this? Uh, this is Sammy. Sammy, but Sammy's a girl. Sammy's a girl, yes. She definitely, if I could lift her up, she has a little bit of a dewlap here, uh -huh. which uh, bunnies use the fur from under there to make a nest when they're going to have kits. Interesting. And only girls have those. Oh, okay. Uh, we think she's a hotot, which means that um, that's they have the dark eyes with the um, eyeline around them and the little black ears. Oh, well, she is adorable and very adoptable, just like all the animals we have here at the Irvine Animal Care Center. So please come down to the Irvine Animal Care Center and take home a new friend and watch us next time on Irvine Pets and Company.